Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and eat meat in it. Hallelujah. This is your girl, Sister Pooh. Wanted to come and give you all a wonderful video today, a word of encouragement. First, I want to thank each and every one of you for your love and support. It means so much to me. You will never, ever know. And I really appreciate each and every one of you, young and old. I got young people on the page. Hallelujah for my young people. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you all so much. Thank you so, so much. You are a true blessing to me. You really are. Thank you all so, 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 so much. I can't say that enough. Thank you. Also, I want to make sure that you all know that we are still having the T-shirt sale. And it's going on for about 10, 15 more days, uh, something like that. I am going to check today to see if we can get the shirts in different colors. I know a lot of people don't like orange and I didn't do orange on purpose. It was just the last color I clicked on. I didn't know this first campaign I ever drew. I didn't know. And I know some people just can't do orange because it's Tennessee and, uh, you know, do you, boo. I'm going to try to get that changed today okay also i want to thank sister laura tutu church mccray for her wonderful testimony service today she said don't be on the fence don't be so offended don't be the, uh, the fi don't be offended and don't give offense don't take offense and don't give offense don't worry about me sister laura i'm not doing no fences because i don't know i never was able to climb a fence i was always kind of pudgy and you know them wire fences the weight capacity was kind of low on them so I, I couldn't climb them but I couldn't lift myself up because that was just too, a little too heavy so I'm not going to be on the fence and I'm not going to give offense or take offense okay hey, amen that was a wonderful word for today but I want to encourage you all today with a wonderful I mean you know God told me you know this little thing you know and it just sat down in my spirit yeah about waiting you know that's one thing we do not like to do my husband has zero patience none whatsoever none and so you know the lord spoke to me about that today you know and it's it's hard for all of us to wait especially on god it's hard for us to wait because god sometimes god will be quiet on you have you ever had god to get quiet on you he'll do it and he'll he'll shut up crickets yeah he'll do it and while we're waiting it seems like you know our situations are getting worse and worse and worse and we're like god where are you we can't you know but you know you have to trust him when you can't trace him you know sometimes god will get quiet on you just to see where your faith is this is all everything in the bible that god granted to people is is because of their faith so you need to make sure you're exercising your faith because faith without works is what dead gone kaput out of here so make sure that you are exercising your faith and make sure that you have the right attitude while you're waiting that is very important that you have the right attitude while you're waiting on God because God has not forgotten you God has not he sees he knows and he cares that is wonderful to know and that is you know when I was going through you know the darkest roughest time of my life only six months ago Y'all see, I mean, you know, I've been going through it for about five years. I'm let me just give my little testimony. I've been just going through it for the last five years. I'm like, God, really? I'm your girl. But see, God, you know, even though he's touched, you know, by our emotions, but that that's not what moves him. Our faith is what moves him. We can cry and snot and carry on and God like, OK, now when you get through, do you trust me? So. Instead of doing all that and giving yourself a, a, a headache for crying and, you know, making Kleenex rich because you got all the tissues and everything, else, just exercise your faith. Like, you know what, God, I can't trace you right now, but I still trust you. You know, I trust you and I know that you are God. This did not catch you by surprise because he sees, he knows and he cares. So please be encouraged today. Do your best to exercise your faith and go through what you're going through as a good soldier. Because we good. So, you know, the meat ministry is about 8,500 people strong. We good soldiers. And I thank God for the meat ministry because it is such a positive thing. I thank God that I am the catalyst for his glory, for his people to come together. It is awesome. I think it's heaven on earth because it's everybody coming together and it's very positive. So I thank you all so much. Be encouraged today. Know that while you're waiting on God, God has not forgotten about you. 
God loves you. He sees, he knows, and he cares. He cares about what you're going through. He cares about The Bible said, cast your cares on him before he careth for us. That means cast. That means throw it on him. Throw it. Say, you know what? Him. I can't do this. You know, this is what's concerning me because he cares. He does care about you today. And I care about you. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Thank you for the love that flows back and forth throughout this ministry, throughout these um, uh, internet wall, I guess. I don't know. Internet waves or why is it walls? I don't know. But, you know, I thank God for that because nothing but a God could do a thing like this. And I give him all the praise and glory for it. And I thank you all so much, my brothers and sisters. I love you all so much. You have no idea how much you are a blessing to me. And I thank God for you all. Have a wonderful day. I want to thank Sister Mary for sending out <laughs> Send it out, you know, the, the APB, the All Points Bulletin for us. I was I was kind of being kidnapped, I've been kidnapped by my husband today. He had a honey do list for me. This not this is this the opposite of what's supposed to happen, sir. I'm supposed to give you a honey do list, but you can't. You, but praise the Lord for three o'clock when he went to work. Hallelujah. Mm, ripping and running may endure for a morning. Oh, but peace comes at three o'clock. That's poo eight and twenty one. Thank you, Jesus. It's 3 o'clock and he's going to work. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. If I didn't have to rock twice to get off this couch, I swear I'd run. But I thank God for everything that he is, is to me and what he's doing in my life and what he's doing in the life of his people. Because God is coming back. Jesus is soon to return. So please get your house in order. But just know. Know that God loves you. And so do I. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. God bless your bones today. Have a wonderful evening and be blessed, fat and happy. Carry the meat on your bones extremely well today. Amen. Hallelujah.